everyone, it's Michelle here from 3Ps and today I just want to share with you um, some little birthday ideas and some cards and some other little, uh, another little project I worked on, uh, some, you know, little projects I've been tinkering with. So the first thing I have here is this card, a, couple, a few cards I've made, and this is a birthday card. It's, uh, it's pretty bright and colorful. This was really more of a, let me just tinker with this and see what I can come up with. And I, I do like it. I just, I put some like glitter, try to do like a glitter glue line and I didn't like the way that turned out. So I think if I had left that off, I would have liked it better. But other than that, <laughs> um, this is a balloon stamp that I trimmed and cut out and put on foam. And then I stamped out the word surprise and I colored that in and I put it up on foam. And then I just did a simple um, square in the back and then wrapped some um, curling ribbon around it to look like a birthday, like a package with a little tag hanging off of it. And so and then I stamped the, another balloon here and a balloon here and some sequins and some washi tape that I got from uh, Dollar Tree. And then on the inside, I just did a simple uh, happy birthday and another balloon in the corner. So I thought this was a pretty fun looking little card, little handmade card here. And then I did these two. They look similar. I, I had another purple card, but I completely messed it up. So that's why there's not two purple cards. And there are two pink cards. Uh, these two are very similar. Um, the color on the cupcakes turned out slightly different. I'm not sure why it turned out that way. I used the same colors, but for some reason it colored darker on this one. So, But these are some flowers I got from... Michael's, I stamped out the word celebrate and colored that in. Um, some rickrack pieces that I got from um, Target uh, a while back. So I thought this turned out pretty cute. This is just a, some uh, simple glitter paper I got, color box paper I got from Target, or not Target, at Walmart, and I cut those out. And then I glittered up some sequins. I have these flower sequins I got. I think from Tuesday morning and some blue ones I got from a local dollar store and I just dabbled some little bit of glitter or glue on top of them and then sprinkled the glitter on top and let it let it dry so that it kind of has their glittery effects on the flowers and then a little flower stamp in the back and then this trim across the top I got from Dollar Tree and then on the inside again just a simple happy birthday this was actually a happy mistake this right here you see where it's layered with the two inks. I originally stamped it in this like blue, the same blue that's here. But when I stamped it, it didn't show up very well. So I went back over it with a black and I didn't line it up quite right. But it gave it like a layered, layered ink effect there. And I liked the way it turned out. And I actually tried duplicating it. Have you ever made a happy mistake and it, you're going, oh my gosh, it turned out awesome. And you try to replicate it on something else on purpose and it just doesn't come out right so uh, I tried duplicating it on this card and it didn't come out like I hoped so to cover up my boo-boo I just made a little happy birthday here so I could still salvage the card so, so that's those two birthday cards or three birthday cards really that I've made um then I made this wooden plaque um, for someone. Um, this is the back side where you can write your message or their name and put your little wooden card. And these wooden veneer pieces I get at Hobby Lobby. I just colored up the sides and just sit here like a washi tape. Um, this trim I got at Dollar Tree. I stenciled in a, like a design on the washi tape. Um, these wooden birthday veneer stickers I got at Tuesday morning. And then this is a happy birthday uh, die cut. It's in a pack I got from Michaels. Um, these little die cuts are kind of flimsy, so I had to be kind of careful with those. I then just mounted it on some foam. This foam right there that you get at Dollar Tree. So I made this. And I just stained up the wood with some ink. So I thought that I put the t I put some tape down right here, and I stamped up on it, and then I pulled the tape pulled the tape off, so it gave it kind of a bordered effect. 
And then this is how I did the bag. So I thought that turned out turned out pretty nice. So I think go like this. So there's that. So another thing that I've made is this right here. And it's a magnet. I put a magnet strip on the back with some ribbon. I think I got this ribbon in the Target dollar spot. Um, and then just a simple magnet strip on the back. And it's just a little shaker window that I layered up and trimmed it out with some washi tape and then some trim and ribbon. So they can hang this on their fridge or filing cabinet. And everything rolled around pretty nice. So I like how this turned out. So there's that. And the other thing, a little quick idea that I had for maybe some birthday favors or some birthday, um, maybe birthday party ideas. I got these bags at Target in the dollar spot. Uh, I think it came, it was a dollar for 10 of the, 10 of these, um, Baker type paper bags, cookie bags. And then there were, I think it was 20 cellophane bags. And they had a stripe set, um, I think. Anyway, I have these little, I got these because they went together. And then at Walmart, they have these, you know, like the little sun catchers that you can get. And I think you, you're supposed to paint them, you know, paint them in. But I was thinking if they're, I believe these were 50 cents. They were 40 cents or 50 cents, I can't remember. And what I did is I just colored this in with permanent marker. I, I colored this in with a Sharpie. So just your basic, you know, Sharpies. And what I did is I did one layer first and I let it dry. Um, let it really dry and adhere to this plastic. And then I came back later and did a second coat so it would be nice and vibrant. But I was thinking that kids could do these. Um, you know, instead of painting, if you don't want your kids to have paint, they could color these in. They had like 20 different, you know, plastic, um, designs so they had flowers and stars and different shapes and so and then you can just tie it put a cord in it or you could actually maybe make this into a door hanger or you know with this little birthday with this little cupcake you know a little birthday cupcake um they could this is something the party favor they could take home with them and say you make up you know you can make up a little bag and you can stick it in something like this um these little cello bags like this will actually hold this wooden card, you know, like, like that. So if you want to have like an art project, you can get, I believe it's 10 of these wooden veneer pieces for about $4. You could do little art projects, you know, stick them inside these bags. Maybe, not even for birthdays, maybe it's a summer um, idea you might have with your kids. Um, you know, get you some bags like this and you can tuck away their little art project and have everything inside um, with some stickers and embellishments. And they can make up their own little, like, summer fun take-home things. Like if you're doing a summer camp or maybe a summer birthday party or get together where you've got multiple kids and you want something that's pretty, pretty inexpensive to do, um, this is an idea and they can put it in their little bags and take it home with them. Another thing you could do is, like, these cellophane bags. Because they're so small, you know, they're little, and then you just, you know, they could put this in here if you want to get a pack of, you know, after they've colored it and they want to take it home, they could string, you know, put their little cording and string on it and some candies or, you know, whatever they're doing for the summer. I thought that would be a fun, you know, little summer project or something fun to do with the kids that gets them involved. So, and this was actually really easy. Like I said, I colored this in, colored it in with a Sharpie, didn't use any paint, um, especially, I don't know about other people, but for myself, when I think of kids in paint, um, I just picture my furniture becoming some kind of art deco piece by the time we're done. <laughs> so, um, I'm not sure that Sharpies are any safer, but they do eventually wear off the skin if they, they mark themselves up and, um, so it's kind of fun. I mean, they could color in the flowers and let it sit for a little bit and then have lunch and then come back and finish it some more. And just, I don't know, just seemed like a fun, 
like summer camp or maybe a daycare activity or something that kids could do and then they could take it home and give these things to you know mom and dad or something like that so but that was fun or you could just you know put this in a like a kid's um birthday pack you know put an, a blank one inside with a couple of couple of markers and they can color those up because i think the crayola ones are also they have permanent crayola markers so you don't necessarily have to use sharpies I and mean, you could use the permanent crayola markers and whatnot so i thought that was fun or they can maybe um you could put some glue in here and glitter it up use glitter you know i don't know some some different kind of alternative for these besides just trying to paint them and that's how this turned out the yellow is kind of hard to see but i think once it was it's hanging up especially like in a window or on a rear view mirror in a car having that pick up the sun i mean It'd be kind of fun. So there's those. Some birthday cards I've put together. This little wooden card I've made. There's this. And then, of course, this shaker. So I showed in another video where I made something similar to this. It wasn't made exactly like that. This is actually layered up quite a bit. Um, from what I've... This is before I found the uh, three ring... Uh, what am I trying to say? The uh, little three ring Avery pockets that I showed where I made the uh, shaker pockets in another video that I did. And this is, I made this before I found those. So had I found those first, I would have made it that way. But this was from trying to put it together and coming up with an idea. But I still think it turned out nice. And the words are underneath the plastic. It's actually two layers. The bottom layer has the, um, shaker embellishments and then that's sealed up and then on top of it I put these and then I sealed that up so it's it's actually multiple layers it's a little thicker than I would have liked but I still like the way it turned out and I think the recipient's gonna really enjoy it so thank you so much for watching today everyone and y'all have a great day